they call a youth epidemic of e-cigarettes. The FDA announced its action yesterday morning. It includes a threat to take some e-cigarettes off the market. Joe Malillo has been working on this story for us even before this big announcement. Joe. Yeah, good morning, guys. And FDA says manufacturers are to blame for marketing to kids that these major e-cig manufacturers must submit a plan to slow down the sales of alternative smoking devices or face major penalties. The U.S. Food and Drug Administration issued 1,300 warning letters and fines to retailers who illegally sold jewel products and other e-cigarette products to minors during a nationwide undercover blitz of brick and mortar and online stores this summer. The most recent, recent national survey said youth tobacco is one in five high school students uses tobacco and by far the most common method is with e-cigs. 2.1 million middle and high school users. FDA now is fighting back. This is a social media campaign you're looking at in addition to the crackdown on the manufacturers. A new study came out recently showing how e-cigarette vapor could damage important immune cells in the lungs and trigger inflammation. I did speak to a doctor from IU Health about the study and how, although there isn't a lot of research about e-cig use, more is coming out about the dangers. I would take you back many years ago when people used to smoke in the past and people did not think it was harmful, but then studies started coming out afterwards. And I think a similar trend is being seen now with electronic cigarettes. It's, I mean, I think, I think they will be as uh, as harm inducing as cigarette smoke uh, as we study them uh, down the road. Vast majority of the violations for the illegal sale of five e-cigarette products, Views, Blue, Jewel, Mark, Mark 10 XL and Logic. Now according to the FDA, those five brands basically hold 97 percent of the U.S. market shares in e-cigarette products. In addition, the FDA also issued warning letters to other online retailers that are selling misleading labeled or advertised e-liquids resembling kid-friendly food products such as candy and cookies. So, action clearly being taken by FDA officials to stop this trend before it gets worse. I did put the information from the health study as well as the info from FDA on wishtv.com for everyone. All right, thanks for all the information, Joe.